I had some ideas to finish the whole creation, then you had some ideas to finish the whole spaceship. Some really crazy ones. <laughs> I am excited. This is part five of the Skelt map. This is new. It's amazing. It's for more ergonomic working. Okay, maybe we work down here. Play claim. Off to an epic start and it starts to rain. Why does it always rain when I work on Skeld? And I have no idea where to start. Well, we could glue all the parts together. This sounds promising. We just take our hot glue gun and glue it all together. Yeah, great. Broke the first security cam. Off to a perfect start. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? But it doesn't look too bad, does it? This looks so big on my table. The light lighting is still working and for today I also want to include some further lighting and I even think that some of you suggested that in the comments. This is the last piece to glue together and this is gigantic, look at that! It's ridiculous. Okay, let's better put it down. We could hang this to the wall as it is right now and then the video would be over, but that would be way too easy. Let's have a look what we have to create. Well, we have this gray space right next to the hallways and the engines in the backside of the spaceship. There's another one, I think three in total. And then the door and some beautiful details in the front like these dishes what else well the cockpit and the tip of the spaceship let's take this precious material which is called cardboard and slaughter it down well it's for a good cause this one is going to be for the gray spaces oops i broke a lever not again i first take the outline of the whole ways of all the runes so I know where to cut that I get a better understanding how this thing works and why the map designers are really insane in what they did here and then we can hopefully close all the gaps and spaces in between the ways that it looks like more the one in the game which is still not logical. Why does it look like there was a wheel on my cardboard? So, I just drew all the lines to know where all the ways are. Then we have another outline around. And I drew this just for you on this tiny piece. That you understand that we have to give some extra space for the walls, for the cardboard, in order to fit perfectly. And this is what I am doing right now. I am not cutting on the line itself. I give some extra space for the walls, for the thickness of the cardboard, which was used for all the walls. And this is a lot of work. This looks like a wheel, right? I mean, right there on the cardboard. Did I order a wheel? single wheel for my car? I don't think so. Now that we have a sharp new blade we can start finishing this piece. Also from underneath it looks beautiful. I better don't put my hand right there when cutting it from the other side. Okay, around the corner. I have a new camera 
and I can do some crazy stuff now. Things like, wait for it, wait for it, this. I'm not sure how useful this will be in the future, but I somehow really like to see cardboard cutting in ultra, ultra macro mode. <laughs> now let's be really careful to get this out. It's like a puzzle. And we need the outer piece of the puzzle because this will be the gray area around all the different ways and rooms and I'm excited to see if it really works. Let's put it together. Okay. Well, all we have to do, or oh, even the wheel imprint is included. All we have to do is to glue this together with a hot glue gun. And then some painting and adding details and the engine. So easy. Okay, I remove the rooms again and the ways um, that I don't accident accidentally paint on them. I can glue this tiny piece back together to the main part of the cardboard. And now we take some acrylic paint. We need some black and then we can start painting the contour of these pieces and this is going to be all black while the surface on top will be painted gray and we do this with all the different parts this may take a while let's have a look at reddit what you guys published right there at the community tab right here let's have a look Oh, it looks like Merry Christmas. <laughs> a little bit too early, but still very cute. Yeah, I'm already thinking a lot about Christmas right now. There are different reasons for this. Our online store on clayclaim.com um, is preparing for Christmas. We are doing the Black Friday sale right now. Maybe you have read this in our newsletter. Brop. <laughs> Black Clay and Black Friday. <gasps> This is no coincidence. Yeah, we give 10% off. If you don't want to miss on future exclusive tutorials and promo codes, please subscribe to our newsletter on clayclam.com and go check out our Black Friday sale right there, clayclaim.com. And now it's time to change it from Black Friday to Gray Friday. Maybe just a little bit more of black beautiful <laughs> well the other reason i think a lot about christmas um well it's because of the the presents mm, i want to do some of the presents by my own and not buy all of them so i am preparing a photo collage for my wife for example um, i have some ideas for for our kids as well and um, yeah, still some further presents on my list, which I want to prepare over the next days. And while the acrylic paint is drying, and right now it is dry. <laughs> yeah, Christmas will be different this year. Um, we are still meeting with the family, but not with all of them because of COVID, of course. Yeah, let me know, how are you dealing with the situation right now when it comes to Christmas? I'm really curious to read your comments on this. Now the big moment has come. I'm excited about this. We are gluing all the gray parts in between. This is all storage part, by the way, in the spaceship. <laughs> Unless someone comes up with a better idea than storage space. We can glue these pieces um, right onto and in between and maybe also from underneath to really make sure that it doesn't fall apart. Okay, some more hot glue gun. <laughs> 
And the same also goes for the outer part, but for this we need some fresh hot glue sticks. Okay, this is one of the last pieces. I probably burned my fingers too much while doing this. Okay, this is the last piece. And what about the front? I think I forgot a spot. Okay, just pressing it together for a few seconds. The door! This is the door. There is a gap in the wall and I try to focus on the outlines first and then we will take care of the door right there. Ah, what the heck. Let's draw all the outlines first. While creating a gigantic project like this, it is quite helpful to go step by step um, and to do all the similar tasks together, like painting the outlines, for example, around all the different ways and around all the rooms. Okay, looks great. Now also around the cockpit itself. What else do we got? Yeah, we have a very narrow spaceship right there. It's not thick walls, it's very thin. Let's measure, me measure, measure the distance to the side of the spaceship. Yeah, this was the back side. This is the front of the spaceship. I just drew the line to make sure that I cut on the right spot. Okay, yeah. While getting the spaceship into shape, I wanted to share some further images from you, from the community, which you posted over on Reddit. This one was amazing. The Joker, Heath Ledger, this one was created by Felix Reminger. Amazing, amazing details. I'm wondering how big this creation is. And this is another creation this guy did. It's Spider-Man. I can't believe you're 12 years old, Felix. This is incredible. Now I'm really frightened that when you become my age, what you can do with clay. <laughs> yeah, you can probably take over the channel one day. We need some more cardboard. <laughs> Score! for the walls, the outer walls of the spaceship. I'm completely honest with you guys. Once this project is finished, I'm really going to miss it. Um, it's been so many hours and days I put into this whole project and I was even thinking about what to do with this spaceship. I feel this, I see this as a community project. Um, although I did the work, the physical work, you had so many amazing ideas and wrote them down in the comments so I improved the whole creation from time to time. We even started a milk war over this project. We complained a lot about the, the amazing work the map designers did. So I'm, I'm really going to miss this. Or we start with Polis <laughs> with the next map. Yeah, we need some more power. can be that easy. <laughs> this is the tip for our spaceship. A wooden ball. 
a half a wooden ball. Yeah, so what, what do you think about this? Uh, do you want that I continue the Among Us map series? And should we cover different games again? Uh, what about Fortnite? I haven't played Fortnite in a while now. Um, it's not working anymore on my Mac. But there are so many other amazing games which we could cover. Or we stick a little bit longer with Among Us. It's up to you. And as every Friday, I can't wait to read your comments. Um, I'm literally sitting there. I'm publishing the video and then I wait. <laughs> the first comments are coming in and, well, most of them say first, obviously, but they are not first comment. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, the comments get a little bit longer and I can respond. We are almost there. We are about to start working on the details on the outer part of the ship. Let's dry the acrylic paint a little bit faster because I can't wait to continue this. I broke another lever right there. I think it's this is the third lever I broke. <laughs> and now I have like four different kinds of blue. But I think this one matches perfectly with the one in game. We have these blue shields out of the ship. And we will glue this just right there. Okay, perfect. Now another one. I'm folding the cardboard just a little bit that it wraps around the corner. And it looks like that in the game as well. This is the door. And I'm afraid I have to cut this open. I think I'll print out the door itself and all the technical stuff. We'll do this with clay. Here is another artwork you created, Zed Nari from Wizards. I like it a lot. <laughs> Homelander be pretty sus, though. Now this is the door. I already told you that, right? Let's just remove these pieces. <gasps> yeah, I have to do some more training on the focusing part. <laughs> but the idea was nice, wasn't it? The reactor and the engines, the back engines. I think three of these. And this is the lighting I want to include. A chain of light which goes underneath. This is the biggest one, it is obviously right in the middle and also run by the reactor, I think so. We'll make it a little bit more narrow and then the hot blue and white steam is coming out of the engines. This is a different technique. I'm trying out different stuff, also in just one creation. Different techniques to see what works best. This one was obviously a little bit dangerous because I had to touch the hot glue <laughs> with the fingers. Okay, the three engines are finished. Three engines? Or five? No! <laughs> We start all over again. Well, not the middle one, but the left and the right one. Definitely not my fault, by the way. The map designers created the point of view in a way that you can't see how many engines you really got in reality. Yeah, obviously not my fault. We have some more details right on top and then we can start painting, oops. I'm shooting to the reactor and we can paint it all silver. At first I thought we could make it gray like in the game, 
but this part should be really highlighted now that we have five engines I want to make a landmark and show other people that we have five beautiful shiny engines okay. this should last for two strokes at least While we are painting, I am thinking about the, the fire itself and how we can create it. I have different ideas and we will try them out in a minute. Let's bring the chain of lights. Chain of light or chain of lights? Oops, what's going on with the camera? It really loves the table and want to show it from underneath. <laughs> Yeah, how to make the fire, the blue fire itself. Hmm. It's a bright blue with white right in the middle. We could take cardboard as the perfect color, but it doesn't really look fire-ish enough. Yeah, wool is better, way better. Plus, um, it also matches the style of the art itself. I did the steam with wool coming out of the two engines, upper engine and lower engine. Our door to throw out the garbage. We will glue this right there. And then we have some windows, which I also printed out. The tip of the spaceship has to match the color of the blue cardboard. So I'm just playing around until it matches. It's a very dark blue greenish color. Okay, then we have these things <laughs> right outside of shields. I'm happy I have clay, because then I can create anything. <laughs> Just a short reminder, we have the Black Friday sale till Monday on clayclaim.com. After often hardening, we'll bring in some further details. And all the lines the map designers created are crooked. Look at that. Everything is somehow crooked. <laughs> so I don't have to be too shy that I would destroy or um, miscreate any parts. I just do it. I draw crooked lines too <laughs> with clay. And we have some green and red lights and another instrument, probably some speakers. <laughs> and they are used to shout at all the crewmates, which were not the imposters. Dude, we were sorry, we thought you were the, the imposter. Now, after oven hardening, these are all freshly baked, by the way. We can glue the knobs and also all the different parts. Um, yeah, I just lost one on the ground. Hmm. Has to be right here. I found it! Look at that, amazing. I'm saying amazing a lot. I just realized that. But sometimes it is just amazing. Now these are all the details I wanted to draw in onto these things which look like light bulbs. They are not glowing, right? Now the speaker another crooked line and we just glue it onto the outer part of the spaceship. Oh, there are some wires in between. We can draw these as well. They don't have to be straight. These are the dishes. Satellite dishes. At least I think so. This is my interpretation of these things from the design. This is some glue 
to make the wool a little harder. <laughs> Bless you, thank you. At first it's quite sticky, but uh, when the glue dried, we have some really stiff wool. The scalp map is almost finished, but we want to place some tiny crewmates and imposters on the map to tell some tiny cute stories as well. So, who wants to be the imposter? Maybe this guy. I feel like God right now. I not only have to choose the imposter, but also the victims. <laughs> but this is the nice guy, the imposter. Now, who should we kill? We should kill off the carrot man. It is the crewmate I love the least. Come here. Come to Debbie. Oh no, he looks so poor. Let's take someone different. The innocent guy. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, look at that. I forgot there were Tic Tacs inside. I, I'm i honest, I totally forgot about that. Well, we take some acrylic paint. And make it a little bit bloody. And we need a bone. Maybe a second one. Hmm, which one? The family? No. The carrot man. It has to be the carrot man. We have to be quick. <laughs> and also some blood. This is the first bone. Very tiny. We'll put this into the oven. But I'm doing this secretly. So you won't see this. And now we can glue all the crewmates into the ship. We have... Danny the milk boy <laughs> and he drank some milk. I'm still waiting for the response of Danny. An open vent <gasps> and this guy got caught in action. This cute guy goes right there and the family, well maybe one of the kids is jumping on the bed. And then we have these two half guys. <laughs> we make ghost crewmates out of them. And they can fly around and complain. The bone. Yeah, our imposter. Well, we have two imposters now. It's this guy in electric, electrical. And then the other one um, at navigation who is opening the vent. The ghosts are sitting right here and they can complain um, and look at their bodies. I like the idea with the wool. It doesn't really look 100% accurate, but still nice. Guys, I really can't believe it. That's it! The scalp map from Among Us with all the different crewmates and imposters killing each other in peace!